Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my new player's beginner's guide to Final Fantasy XIV, The Realm Reborn Relic Weapon Part 6, the Zodiac Step. So this step is going to require a lot of legwork and a lot of resources. Fortunately, a lot of those resources can be bought off the market board. Unless you have a crafter who's all set and ready to go, you can basically skip all that. And I'll get to that later. So you're going to need a couple of things. Grand Company Seals, Gill, and Poetics. You're also going to need Second Lieutenant in your Grand Company in order to get the items from your Grand Company called the Bombard Cores. You need 40,000 at least to get two of these. All right. You have your Challenge Log on your Grand Company. You have your Hunt Log, Rank 3. And you also have your Loving Roulette, Fates, and Love Quest of the Grand Companies in order to get those. I do have a tips and tricks video on how to get Grand Company Seals before the expert deliveries, so I'll make sure to link that in for you guys to use as reference. Next, you need 400 Poetics. That's the easy part. And as for the Gill, if you're going to be crafting the items yourself, you're going to need an undisclosed amount because it costs the synthesis to get those items. But if you buy more off the market board, I think they go around 30,000. I think a lot of servers do have them for around 30,000 a piece and you need about eight items. So that's around like 200 and something thousand gil, give or take. And you're also going to need 300,000 gil for three items that you're going to have to buy at three different locations. So this step does require a lot of resources, but please do not be discouraged. I have gill videos for you guys to use. If you need help with the gill, the main story quest gives you so much. This dungeon drop gill, there's like gill everywhere, so there's no reason not to have it. All right, the, the weapons in the end and the achievement you get is well worth the effort. So the first thing we need to do is talk to Jalzan and accept the quest, Wherefore Out Thou Zodiac. So we're going to skip the cutscene. And we need to talk to Geralt. Come back to Jalzan over here. Skip the cutscene, and then we're done. All right. So now we have to do Soul Ascension. All right, so after that cutscene, we need now to talk to four different people. Three are Mordona and one of the Bonfire. So let's start with Mordona first. All right, guys, here we are in Mordona. So we need three quests in this area. We have a Pons of Flesh at X22.9, Y7.5. We have Labor of Love at 21.9, Y 7.0 and a treasured mother at 21.9 Y 6.6. So we want to accept all three of these quests. So after accepting all three of those quests, come to Ariana and Mordona at X 22.7 Y 6.7. Go to Special Arms and buy two Spring Waters for 400 Poetics, which I've already did. The other two are going to require the Bombard Core, and a Brass Kettle, and a Core, and a Bronze Lake Crystal. Labor of Love requires an Elegant Resin. Now, in the Black Shroud in North, you're going to get a Kettle, which is going to be right here in this NPC at X29.8, Y19.0 for 100,000 gil. In Thanalan, south, it's going to be the Forgotten Spring. Right here is going to be the Elegant Resin, 15.9X, Y29.1, 100,000 gil for that. And in Lenosha, in Camp Bronze Lake, is going to be the outpost right here for another 100,000 gil at x26.2, y26.4. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and grab those and then we will come back and then we will deliver all these items to these three quests. All right, so when I get back, we will continue. Alright guys, so I'm back, so I decided to show you guys the locations anyway. Hopefully that helps. So, in the bonfire, you want to talk to Adkin to get Method in his malice. This is going to be the fourth person. Now this one, you're not going to be buying anything. Your goal for this one is to run a certain amount of dungeons for blood. Alright, so we have our three items here. We got our Grand Company items. So now we need to deliver all these items to the three people in Mordona. So when we go to Mordona, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are back at Mordona. So let's give the resin to Guiding Star. Alright, give the mother her kettle, her water, and bombar cord. We have to go to Swift Perch to talk to her son, the guy who helped you uh, do the treasure chests. He will be dealing with the rest of that quest, and this one, pass the same items in. All right, and that one requires us to do two dungeons. So let's go over to Swift Perch. All right, so here we are in Swift Perch. Like I said, if you forgot to attune to the other right, it's just east of Aleport. So after all the NPCs are talked to, we now have to do dungeons. You only need to do it once to get the item, thankfully. And you're going to be unlocking almost all of them. Alright, so the dungeons we need to unlock are Dismal Darkhold, Iron Veil, which you should have done through your grand company. Wonders Palace will be right left of the Waking Sands building in Vesper Bay. You can't really miss it because when you go into the Waking Sands, the NPC is right next to the left. Entapore Keep, you already unlocked. Ferris Sirius will be over here in Aleport. Right about here. X26.6, Y26.6. Next is going to be Copper Bell Mines. Right when you walk into the Rising Stones in Mordona, there's going to be a bunch of NPCs with little blue markers over their heads. They're going to be in there for Copper Bell Mines hard. Hawk Manor Hard, same place. The Lost City of Amdapur will be in the Conjurer's Guild in Gridania. Halatali Hard, I believe, will also be in Mordona. Prairie Flock's Long Stop, again, the Rising Stones in Mordona. Holebreaker Isle is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be in Limsa and Lamensa. Right about here, there will be a ramp that you go down underneath, and it should be around here somewhere. I think right about here. All right, that will be Holebreaker Isle. Next is going to be Tamterra Deepcroft. This is going to be in Olda. All right, and it's going to be right next to the Chocobo uh, stable. 
right here. All right, touch the little lava fell to unlock that. We have Stone Vigil, Rising Stones yet again, and Snow Cloak will be through the main story. So that's Tasha Hard, again, the Rising Stones and Mordona. Sunken Temple of Karn, Rising Stones and Mordona. And I believe that's it. Those are all the dungeons that you guys are going to be farming, or at least doing once, to get the drop. Again, they're going to be one shot, so you don't have to worry about doing them multiple times. All right, Unsynced, Duty Finder Synced, it doesn't matter. I don't know if you have to, I think you have to do it as the job you're playing, but I don't have any other job to test that out. So, so if you have a free company, have someone take you in there and do them one, two, three. All right, so now I already did this on my Runar character on, I think, Gilgamesh, so I already had that step already done. I'm gonna have to do this on this character, unfortunately. So we are going to continue this quest with my Runar character. So when we get over to that character, we will continue. All right, guys, so here I am, I'm Runar. So after you have done those dungeons, you're going to be doing the next step, which is going to require crafting and synthesis and a little bit of gathering. But we can skip all that because all these items can be bought on the market board, which I highly recommend that you do. Because if you try to craft these yourself, you're going to waste more time and more money on trying to get the items through desynthesis since you have to either buy those on the market board or get them through desynthesis in the Silver Bazaar in the Western Thanaland, which is a waste of money. Because I spent over 30, uh, 30 grand trying to get those items and I could just bought them off the market board for 30 grand. So I highly recommend just buying them off the market board and skipping the whole step. All right. So you're going to need a high quality tailor made eel pie, perfect firewood, perfect cloth, perfect bellium, perfect pounce, furnace ring, perfect mortar, and perfect pestle. These come from the master recipe book number one. But like I said, just buy them off the market board to save yourself a lot of time because it's easier to get money than it is to get all these items. So trust me on that one. And while I'm at my grand company, the quartermaster here, the bottom ranks under material, which is spelled poorly, the bomb board cords would be right here. All right, so I wanted to show you guys that as well. So we need to go back to Mordona with these items and then go to the bonfire. So we're going to go to the bonfire first, and then we're going to head over to Mordona to pass these in, and hopefully, I think this is the last step. All right, so when we get there, we will continue. All right, guys, here we are in Mordona. So because it's been about six, seven years since we actually did this relic, I didn't realize that Method in His Malice actually requires a bomb bar core, a sacred spring water, and another item. So you're going to need another 100,000 gil, 20,000 more Grand Company seals, and 200 more poetics. And I won't be surprised if a Labor of Love requires the same thing. So let's double, we'll double check that when we get to them. Let's pass in these two items here. And I believe this will require us to get the book that we need. So that is taken care of. So let's talk to the treasured mother NPC. Let's pass these in. All right, so that gives us the Alexandrite. And now we'll find out if he needs the cores as well. And he does. Oh, God. All right. Okay, I do have enough for the, the water. And I do not have enough for the cores. So I need another 40,000 Grand Company Seals. So I'm going to grab the waters now. Alright guys, so I'm back, so I do apologize for the inconvenience. 
I just totally forgot that this quest required two more. So I was lucky enough to have a crap ton of loot hanging around from my mount farming and the coil farming that I did with my free company yesterday. So I managed to get the 40,000 pretty quickly. And I also have the spring waters. So like I said, you need 80,000 grand company seals. I think 800 poetics and about 400,000 gil. Plus whatever you want to buy off the market board for the perfect items. So that's a lot of money and that's a lot of grand company seals. But like I said, in the end, it's going to be worth it. So let's pass these into Guiding Star to get our item. And now let's head to the bonfire and give the last items to get our scroll. All right. So we're almost done. All right, so let's talk to Adkin and give him his items and we'll get our scroll. You now have the necessary items to recreate a Zodiac weapon. Report to Geralt. Will do. All right, so now we need to go back to Geralt and let's finish off this quest. All right, guys, here we are at Geralt. So let's talk to him. His dark materia. I'm going to skip the cutscene. So we now need to go back to the bonfire and speak to Mutamix. All right, so here we are with Mutamix. So let's talk to him. All right, so now we need to go back to Geralt. All right, so now we talk to Geralt yet again. What's Nexus? Kind of a plan word. So, Zodiac Weapon Recreation. We are going to be making a Apocalypse. Now, I did the Warrior and Dragoon back in the day. So this is going to be the first time doing the Summoner book. So let's pass in all these items. Alright, so our stats will go up based on what we have. This was just a throwaway because I don't need it. For my Dragoon, I have accurate stats since I was using it. All right, so now we have a Apocalypse. Cool. Lethal weapon. So now let's equip it. Oh, there it is. All right. And this is what the Summoner book looks like. Not bad. I mean, I've seen better books than this, but uh, not bad. I like it. And of course, the inside is all black. All right. So that is going to be how you unlock your Zodiac weapon. I do apologize. Like I said, it's been six, seven years since I actually did the Roman Born Relic. So I was surprised that we had to get two more Bombor cores and two more waters and another 100,000 gil. But I'll make sure to put everything accurately in the description. All right, next is going to be Rise and Shine for the next quest. And we will be unlocking the Zeta version which is going to have a nice little demonic glow to it. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. It's where you guys never been upload. And if you like, you can join my Discord server. The link will be in the bottom part of the About section or hit the world icon on my YouTube banner. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bombat. Take care, guys, and please don't give up on this quest. Take care, guys.